Hey guys, Court Rye here with your Dirt on Clean for the week of November 6, 2011. Let's get started. Is it just me, or has this been a hot year? Well, the International Energy Agency, IEA, stated in its annual report that the world has until 2017 to cut down its carbon emissions before climate change gets locked in. Emissions are currently at 390 parts per million, but are projected to hit the dangerous limit of 450 parts per million by 2035 if serious action isn't taken within the next five years. This projection would warm the Earth by 2 degrees Celsius and significantly impact ecosystems worldwide. In reaction to intense environmental protests, the Obama administration decided to hold off on its decision to approve the controversial 1,700-mile Keystone Pipeline that would link the dirty oil fields of Alberta, Canada to the Gulf Coast. The pipeline will meet its final verdict after next year's election. Garden Lights Holiday Nights, a show running November 19th to January 7th at the Atlanta Botanical Garden, will dazzle spectators with more than just green beauty of its plant life. This show features nearly a million LED lights powered by solar and biomass from their green energy provided provider, Georgia Power. What's happening to all the grease? Bobby Tesler, owner of St. Louis Wings Company, has lost $2,000 worth of grease to thieves since he opened shop in April of this year. With the rise of biofuels, grease has become a hot commodity, now selling for approximately $0.40 cents to $0.43 cents per pound, says Tom Cook, president of the National Renderers Association. The multi-million dollar black market for Greece is a relatively safe haven for thieves since they only face light penalties if caught. Come on, guys. Well, shout out to my college town. Voters from Boulder, Colorado approved two ballot measures that break ties to their coal-dependent utility, XL Energy, allowing them to create their own municipal utility, one that's focused on generating renewable energy. Very cool. In other news, Pike Research revealed in a recent report that energy storage solutions such as compressed air and pumped hydro storage will increase from 121 megawatts to over 12,000 megawatts in just 10 years. This 100x increase will come from $122 billion worth of investment in energy storage over the next 10 years. While the auto manufacturer most committed to fuel efficiency, Toyota, solidified its commitment to providing sustainable motor solutions for the world in its environmental report. Key achievements reported on include the launch of a four-car family of Prius vehicles, you may have seen the pictures, very cool, a partnership with Tesla Motors to build an electric zero-emissions RAV4, a 12% increase in fuel economy for Toyota's U.S. cars over the past five years, and near-zero landfill status at all of Toyota's North American manufacturing plants. Here at the Cleantech Authority Network, we've been polishing up the site, making it a little bit easier to find things and read things. We take, we've taken a look at the potential for environmental upside in commercial space travel looking at Virgin Galactic. We've explored hand crank powered LED flashlights that might last longer and reduce the environmental impact of batteries by storing energy with capacitors. We took a look at communities that are turning to solar power for long-term savings. We interviewed a woman who is turning food waste into food for flies and then converting their larvae into biofuels and fish food, which is in demand right now reviewed five hot products keeping the planet cool for this holiday season, including solar shingles, the new Mitsubishi My EV, and the sold-out Nest learning thermostat. We investigated sustainable and clean power backup generators that run on solar, natural gas, and wind power, and a few other stories. Check them out below. And that's the Dirt on Clean for the week of November 6, 2011. I'm Court Rye, and be sure to get your green updates anytime online at cleantechauthority.com.